a fundamental principle is to seek win-win solutions. Mm. That's a fundamental principle. And it applies to business. It applies to social interactions. Wherever you go, whoever you interact with, if you always are looking for win-win solutions where we both benefit from this relationship or whatever it is, then you're basically going to experience success no matter what the activity is. The principle win-win for everyone is a solid principle and it applies everywhere. I think I moved away from home before you taught us that lesson. (laughs) (laughs) I spent years thinking I had to win them all. Like one out of 10, I had to win all 10. And I I don't know why there was this period of my life where I fought for everything. And it's like, it's going to be my way. And then um, I don't know where it was somewhere along the way. Maybe I just matured or I grew up or maybe we had a conversation and then you shared this with me or what, I don't know, but I discovered I did not, in fact, need to win all 10. I do not need to win 10 out of 10. And I do not need to win five out of 10. So I started picking my battles more carefully. If there was a moment where I felt really strong about, no, 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 we're going to do it my way. There had to be a justifiable reason for that. I find myself consciously, even to this day, like with my husband, for example, saying, is this a battle that you have to win? Most of the time, I'm like, no, not really. Okay, so why are you fighting so hard? If it would make more peace and you can come to an amicable resolve between the two of you and it ends up just being a win-win for both of you, you don't need to win it all, all the time. I find myself backing up more and more the older I get going, eh, you can win this one. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Well, it's okay to win all of the time, but the other person has to win all of the time also. You need to find a way in which both people win. You might have to compromise some things but there's some benefit that will accrue to you in the compromise. You can both win and one person doesn't have to win and the other person lose. We decided, and I think it was because I do run a business out of my house and my husband, oddly enough, is affected by that. I've got about 10 people that come to my house every day to work out of my house. So he's, he's affected by that. But one of the things that has worked really well for us instead of, and I guess it's that win-win compromise, is that we've broken up different areas of our lives on a 49-51 ratio. Not 50-50, but 49-51. Here's how it works. If, for example, it's a money issue and I want to buy something either for the business or for the home, it defers to his 51%. He gets the final say because he has more experience in business and finance than I do. He's been working in finance for as long as we've been married. And so he gets the 51 say. I can sell him all I want on my 49%, but if he wants to override that decision, we've already defaulted to he gets the final say when it comes to how the money is spent. Now, that said, if we're talking about vacuums, I get the 51%. If he just falls in love with his really cool something he saw on an infomercial, I'm the one that gets the final say because I have more experience than he does in that particular area. And so we've broken up our lives into all these weird little compartments and it's 4951. Instead of us arguing to the bitter death of 5050, oh no, it's going to be my way, it's 5149. And then I'm like, ah, eh, he's he's got the final say. Let's wrap this up and roll with his idea. It's nice that you have found a common ground that works. And that's the key to find something that works and is successful and don't try to do something that doesn't work. A lot of people are unhappy with their lives and the way things are going and they don't stop to become aware of why they don't ask themselves the pertinent questions. So if it's working, that's wonderful. You just brought up an interesting question. They don't stop to ask themselves the question. Why at what point of a negotiation or an agreement when maybe you're fighting for a win-win and it's not happening, at what point do you stop and you ask yourself different questions in order to re-navigate that situation? Well, it just depends on your degree of awareness. Some people are aware of everything. It's called mindfulness. Mindfulness is where you're just simply aware of where you are, what you're doing, what's going on around you, and how everything fits together. A lot of people kind of fly by the seat of their pants on everything. 
They don't know exactly what they're doing or why they're doing it or where they're doing it or around whom they're doing it. But yeah, you need to be aware as quickly as possible of every situation that you're in.